Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of A Beautiful Lie. Um, I am your host, Illa G, and so you understand why I'm gonna say this every time in the beginning. So you understand the purpose of me doing this is to keep our young men and daughters out of the penal system, of the jail system. It's not the place to be. Try to keep them out the streets because the streets is a beautiful lie. I want parents in their teens and, you know, male and female, I need you to open that line of communication with your kids. I need you to be emotionally available to your kids. Also, you know, I want you to learn things about yourself. You know, I want everyone to start planning things more so we can learn how to speak to our kids so we can um, keep them away from that penal system that they're making so much money and, you know, the deaths of our kids. It's, it's ridiculous. With that being said, this episode is brought to you by Ella Reparo. Ella Reparo on Shopify.com. Bow. Get your t-shirts. You can get uh, all sorts of things. Um, you know, cases for your computer. Um, hats, shirts, hoodies, jackets, sneakers, everything. Ella Reparo, where hip-hop meets comfort. I like being comfortable. So, if that's what you want, go to Ella Apparel Shopify and support. Link is going to be in the description. Now, with this episode of A Beautiful Lie, hmm, playing with guns. Yes. No bueno, man. No bueno. This is why I say you got to, you know, have that communication. Like, it's so many things, man. You know, a lot of our parents are single parents, and they got to work. And when we're teens... We, uh, you know, a lot of teens have to be responsible for themselves, and it's easily, it's easy to get into things or get a hold of things, you know, and and hide them. Now, uh, I remember an incident that happened with my brother. You know, figure out, you know, telling him my brother is nowhere near in the streets whatsoever, none anything so I think I bragged about having a gun in a certain area of my room so he gets it you know he gets the gun people when you grab a gun first of all if you do have one understand it's your right especially when you don't have a felon there it's your right to have a gun to protect your home especially in this nowadays i hope you have a business if you have a business of your own and you deal with money and you have a business you have a right to carry a firearm with that being said if you do teach your kids how to use it teach your household how to handle a firearm because, you know, you're trying to be secretive and kids don't know about it. They find it. They want to play with it. They do not know the seriousness of it. And things happen. We have to get better with that. Now, like I said, my brother wasn't in the streets at all. Not a street guy at all. And turns out my brother kills the dresser pop the dresser. I'm gone one day. I'm out. I have no clue what the hell I'm doing. And I forgot, but some, somehow I called home for some reason or another. And he was like, yo, um, I didn't believe you that you had one. So I went back there and looked, found it. And he was looking at it. Was like, what's so fascinating about it? Didn't know I had one in the head. Thank you, things that didn't turn out that way. But he decided to point it at the dresser and squeeze the trigger. Bah. Luckily, it was the dresser. Killed the dresser. Mother was at home. Found the slug. Put, it up, put everything back. And I was like, oh, my God. Oh. I'm like, I'm getting kicked out for sure. Getting kicked out. But 
mother never knew anything that happened. It was between me and him, but that could have went totally, totally a different way. Now, what if my brother would have just curiosity do the shit you see on TV and bang and wigged himself? I would have felt low, low, low. Who knows, man? That type of guilt on you would have been, I know I probably would have never, never forgiven myself behind that. Whew. Damn, it just, I mean, thinking about it now fucks me up that I'm so happy that it didn't turn out the way it was. But anyway, still, like an idiot, kept going, which is dumb. Like, please, man, I just... Please, man, communicate with your kids, man. Please know what they're doing. Please find out what they're doing. Please, please find something that makes both of you interested, where you can talk, where y'all can trust each other, to be open and honest with each other. I'm so serious, man, so serious. Um, I have a lot of, a lot of crazy instances with you know guns and people touching guns and not knowing how to handle them and i almost myself was almost shot twice by someone mishandling the gun um still not gonna put people names out there um they they wasn't a part of it uh well you know one night one night uh, this was very popular back in my day sometimes. You know, I just see how wasteful it was, but you you know, you kind of was over and itching. So sometimes we used to be in the peas and we would just let off in the air, bam, bam, just to hear that thunder, that thunder in inside these tall buildings that we call projects. You know, that sound was, you know, especially we was young and, you know, it was kind of, it was stupid. Believe me, it was stupid because it, you, you kind of was like letting people know what you had and, you know, they get to see it or whatever, so on and so forth. It was dumb. But uh, this one night had a 38. Um, we around the hood, you know, had extra bullets, wanted to let it go, let it go. Uh, we give it to one of our people. He's kind of awkward. I don't know what the hell happened, but, and my stupid ass, I gave it to him with the hammer cocked and he had it and I don't know what happened, but it didn't, he didn't know. And he was like, yo, and he turned back toward me and was like, yo, how do you work this? Bah! And I felt the shit like skip past my leg. And I was like, ah, oh, this nigga done shot me. Mm. And then he was, he was stuck. I was like, let me get it. And luckily I didn't get hit. And we just walked away and we was like, never let him touch a gun ever again. Ever, ever again. Another instance this one was pretty scary and spooky at a boy crib at my boy you know my boy crib at uh east new york pink houses we was on our way somewhere about to leave his brother you know sometimes it's the rhyme with his brother I had a p93 ruger and you know he wanted to see it you know, at that time, it was a very dangerous time. So once again, I used to have, you know, one in, one in the head and let him see it, so on and so forth. P93, very smooth thing. And I'm standing directly in front of him. He has it, looks up. It was like, yo, son, I did up. Boom! The shit goes right past my head and into his brother's mirror. I mean, when I say right, like right here, right here past me. 
and a girl just died. I forgot her name, R.I.P. And it was right next to her, uh, I guess it's like the little eulogy thing. It hit right there. He was shocked, stunned. Their moms didn't know. My boy rushed in the room. It was like, yo, his mother started cursing. What you motherfuckers doing? Da -da 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 -da. And he was like, I told y'all about busting fire. I don't know how she thought that was a firecracker because it sure wasn't. He's sitting there posed. I'm like, calm down. Give me the gun. Give me the gun. And I guess I blocked it out my mind because I think about it now like, wow, I should not be here. Should not be here. Scary thing. And I still went like, how stupid could I be to still continue to risk my life and throw bricks at the penitentiary? Wow. I will not. Somebody. It just wasn't my time because I shouldn't be here. Damn, that shit. I'm like thinking about that shit now. Like, that shit is scaring the shit out of me right now. Like, what the fuck, yo? What the fuck? <sighs> anyway, I hope this shit is scaring the shit out of you. Because if you thinking about going in the street, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. And don't fucking do it. The streets is a beautiful lie. Guns is bullshit. Well, unless you're protecting your family. That's it. You should only have one to protect your family if you're a grown ass man. If you're not, you should not. You should probably learn how to handle it from your father or your mother. But other than that, guns is not it. Do not play with guns. Stay the fuck away from street life. Stay the fuck away from it. It is a beautiful lie. She does not love you. Parents, once again, Please communicate with your kids. Talk to your kids. Find some way, shape, or form to engage with them. Be open for them. Emotionally, intellectually, period. You wouldn't believe how much you would change if you have a conversation with your kids. Not dictation. Get them to understand you. You need to understand them. Please, please don't get that confused of thinking I want you, you know, they need to understand, yeah, you're a parent, but you also need to be there for them and they need to see that you have a plan and that you have things going that you, you know, you're like, look, we probably can't get certain things right now. And I, you know, don't make them feel like they're a burden because one of, that's one of the things, if you look at the show a couple episodes earlier, that's what I thought. I used to think I was a burden and it, would, it made me make terrible decisions in my life. So, with that being said, oh, I still didn't even talk about it. I talk about it on the next time, but there's still other things that talk about, about that gun shit. But leave it alone. Don't fuck with it. Stay away from the street. Communicate with your children. Communicate with them, communicate with them, communicate. I don't know. I'm going to say this every episode until you get it. I want. I wish parents would sit and watch this with their teens, with their kids. So we can start that conversation and bridge that gap. You know what I'm saying? Because they are working our parents and they're working us too hard out here. And, you know, people come home tired from work. They really don't want to talk. We need to break that. We need to break that, regardless of what. Need to break that. Because parents are on some G shit. Teens didn't ask to be here. You brought them here. So, talk to them. Once again, thank you for watching. Beautiful lie. Went to the next episode. I am your host, Illa G. Thank you. Salute.